Yo, what is up gamers? Uh, I recently got back into speedrunning Duck Life 1, and I feel like this video would be a lot more fun to watch if I voice over it. So here I go, this is my new Duck Life 1 and percent no major glitches speedrun in 12 minutes and 34 seconds. This was an insane run, but I had all my audio off because I was listening to YouTube videos, and it it takes me into about seven and a half minutes into the run to realize that this is an amazing run and to turn my mic on. So I'm just going to be pre-commentating over that. If you want to hear my live reaction, stay tuned until like halfway. So yeah, so at this point I'm like totally checked out watching a YouTube video over on the side, barely paying attention because I've been doing this first running training for it says like 457 attempts that's in like the past four days and most of it is just resetting on this part because these rocks are super rng heavy and rarely do you ever get out of this if you really want a one cycle which i do end up getting on this run even though it doesn't say an save an absurd amount of time it is still very helpful to get a one cycle and that a one cycle is over 22k because that's the highest level that you can beat uh, 2 1 consistently, and then over leveling here because it saves time, but I don't get that far. And then I eat my seed, and then do some expert tabbing into the races. So we get these races down with a. Uh, you can see the, the four energy is barely enough. Uh, one thing that I probably saved a lot of time over my run from. Oh my goodness, my run from two years ago is I learned that as soon as the race finishes, if you hit tab space like that, it is a really fast menuing way to get out of after you win the race. It's very fast menuing to get out of the race. So I do that. Now we get to this really boring part where I just mash space. Not mash. It has to be rhythmic. But you basically the duck just eats all of these. And then so that part's tricky when it switches the tab. I don't Oh, I do know why it does that, but it's annoying. There, I get the magic pole frame where it flings me up a little bit. That's just kind of a fun glitch. And then this, I get an SBLJ, which is pretty fun. Just messing around, because, like, this isn't, like, an amazing run so far. I mean, I did get a one cycle, so it's pretty good. But in the beginning of the swimming, you can just kind of mess around. You're not really going to get hurt. <laughs> it's really hard to die in, like, the first 8,000 levels of swim. Even, even bef like, the first 20,000 is kind of hard to die. So, just messing around, jumping on the top of the iceberg, messing with this glitchy, colli glitchy collision. Just going around. So, it starts speeding up. I start taking it seriously about here. But I'm still probably checked out watching my YouTube video, not really paying much attention to the run at this point. It's around when I get to 20,000 when I start actually paying attention. So I'm just going around, jumping over, going under, all the things. Just making sure I don't get iceberged or islanded. Because if there's there's a sweet spot in icebergs and islands, if you jump in the front, it just traps you and you die. And it's really sad. I've lost a lot of runs to that recently. So yeah, this is just a 50-50 a game. You react whether you need to go up or down. There we go. I start using the collision to have more fun. On most objects, you can jump on every object that you have to jump over. Oh, they got a glitchy jump over the boat. Every object you can jump over, you can clip through it and it gives you like a double jump thing. And it depends on how horribly you clip through it, how big the double jump is. So, like that on the island. You see that one was big enough that it stopped me from just stopping on the water like that. It kept me going through the floor. So, that can be a pretty good thing because I don't have to worry about like reacting to going over or under. It just goes over or under. There is the big drawback to sometimes you get islanded and it just catches you in that bad spot. And then here I was I panicked because I thought <laughs> there we go, you see the duck fly back, but for a second I thought it got stuck somewhere and that I was gonna have to reset the run. But there we go, I go over there and then I stop. And that was a really, really good swimming. Like I went one level over but still that doesn't really matter. When I get into this race, I'm thinking, wow, this is this is a pretty good run so far. One cycle running, one cycle swimming. Th this could be a good run. So I stop there, do the tab menuing, even more tab menuing. That actually looked really fast looking back at it. And I go into 1-3. Uh, yesterday we tried to 
to routes like moving one three to the end of the race, but we just to the end of the run, but we decided that it was slow. So my PB actually like my splits are going to show that I'm 20 seconds behind, but that's because in my uh, fake PB I'm running against, I skipped one three and saved it for the end of the run. So here, just boring seed eating. About to go into running two, and running two I'm notoriously terrible at. I get like four or five cycles and that just kind of kills my chance at getting like a competitive run. And I go in here and I'm immediately trying to do the math like how far do I need to go if I get a one cycle? Well I need like 50 levels so I need to get 25. That's where my brain always goes. I try to do the math and see how far I go. And so I'm doing, this is totally RNG by the way, Th there's very little skill in running to. And I die at 6,000. I see, okay, 82. And I actually, I, I mess up the math like, in my head for like half of this running. I'm half zoned out trying to do math because it's 500, 500 points for every level. So I'm trying to think, how far do I need to go until I get to 110? And I have it doubled because I'm thinking about two things at once for like half of it. And I'm like, oh wait, I only need like 15,000 score. And about now I look up and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a really good cycle. Like, this is crazy. I never get this far in running, too. So I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, and I die there. So unfortunately, it's a three cycle, but I only need, like, one more. Like, I could have, like, just died instantly, but I went a little safe and got 113. And then I go into 3 1, and this is nerve wracking, because you can still lose 3 1 with 113. You can actually see a duck kind of in front of me, I think, but the game cut tells me I. Game tells me I won, which I am not complaining about, and I just go back to eating seed. At this point, I'm freaking out because I'm like, this is this is actually a really good run. I don't think I've had a run as good as this before. That's crazy. I look over at the world record comparison, which is on the right, and it's actually accurate now that we got past the running, and I'm only like six seconds behind world record. I'm like, this is insane. This is an insane run. So I finish eating the seed, and I go into 3-3, three, three, and this is about when I unmute my mic. So live me is about to take it away. Hope you enjoy. Stress. Stress. This is, is a good run. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, goodness. This is a good run. This is a good run. I just screwed up somehow. Oh, I'm stressed. So bad at this. Two, two. All right. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've had a run with one cycle, both running and swimming, that had two cycle running. Oh my. I can't screw this up. I mean, I can. I'm going to, but I can't. flying. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, you get like 31 there. Alright, so that should be 60. 64. Seventy. Oh goodness. Seventy-four. Eighty. Eighty-four. Three, two. Oh goodness! Please have enough running. Oh, I've lost this race before. Please not now. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, menuing mistake. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I'm fine. I hate eating as much seed. This feels like such a waste of time. Oh.
Oh, oh, choke, big choke. Oh, I didn't even see what flying level I was on. Ah, oh, 103, okay. This is a really, this might be a PB. This might be a PB. Might PB. Might actually PB instead of all these fake PBs I've been getting. Oh, tab menuing. Oh, goodness. I feel like I messed up menuing with my fake PB. Oh, this is a good run. This is a good run. This is a good run. I'm so slow at menuing. I'm so slow. I'm so slow. I am the opposite of speed. One stressy boy. Oh goodness, this this looks like a really good run. No. No 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 no. Okay. Small amount of time loss. We're fine. 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 Oh, we're fine. We're fine. PB. I think this is like a 12:30. I think this is a 12:30. Oh, please be a 12.30. Please be a 12.30. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Like 12.33. <sighs> PB. A real PB. Oh, let's go. How good... What, what is that on the leaderboards? What is that on the leaderboards? Did I just bop... I think I just bopped somebody. Wasn't there like a 12.36 in front of me? Yo! <gasps> Dude, third place! I just bopped N up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Take that! 